Hey guys, Rich from Rich Big Gaming. Hope everyone is doing fantastically well. Welcome to this episode two of our playthrough of the uh, Realm of Thrones mod in Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Um, last time we left you guys, we had just um, finished our first hideout. Uh, we are currently uh, trying to build up our army. This is how Rich looks at the moment. Um, and just a quick recap on the rules of this particular playthrough. Uh, we have started as an Ironborn and because of that we are only paying the iron price for absolutely everything that we want to equip and consume. Um, so everything here that you see in his inventory has all been plundered. Um, everything that we have uh, that we have equipped um, was either plundered um, or, or taken from battles as loot or is things that we have won in tournaments and we were quite fortunate in I think three or four tournaments in uh, episode one we managed to get ourselves a plumed nomad helmet we also managed to get a heavy lamellar vest uh, and we also got I think the um the, the, the best thing that we got from the last one uh, was the Carl's Steed, uh, a mount that costs uh, over 15,000 dinars. I know I was saying it wrong in the last video, so apologies, uh, but over 15,000 dinars. Um, and uh, yeah, it's really, really helped us out. Uh, quick look at what we've got or who we've got in our party. Um, so we're starting to level up some of these characters we've got one tier one a couple of tier fours um sorry tier fives even uh but we really want to build these up and we want to start uh heading over and raiding some of these uh lands um in the north so this is the plan so the goal for this playthrough guys or the, 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 the mid to long term goals are to first of all unite the iron islands uh, all under a single banner preferably our banner yes that may mean overthrowing the grey joys um and next that we want to try and do is basically take over the north that is that is the plan to take over the whole of the north um and from there who knows we may march on the iron throne itself at king's landing uh, but right now guys we're going to jump straight in to a uh, into a battle we've got uh what have we got here we've got some broken men so let's chase these down if we can actually they're quicker than us we are not going to be able to do that well that's annoying isn't it um we're going to be continuing to grind up guys uh so we're going to head back over we're going to sell all our stuff we're going to um, get ourselves a little bit lighter uh we'll do some battles we'll bring you back for some of them and then take it from there okay guys we're going to bring you back because as we did come back to the ten towers to sell some of our wares uh, we did find a tournament that was happening so it would be rude of us to not join this so let's join the tournament um, there's going to be one lord with renowned uh, fighting skills and it is a pointy war sword uh, that we can win should we be successful uh, so let's see uh, which of the other named characters is going to be in here and let's see if we can take down i think it will be our fourth or fifth tournament uh, it's also a really nice way of getting renown uh, if you remember from the last video uh, we did um, we did get offered a mercenary contract uh, but not one that we wanted to take so let's join in here see what we get and we are going to be We need to work on our bow skills, guys. Oh, I thought... I felt like that should have been a hit then, but... Oh, we are doing terribly. We are up. I don't think we've hit one yet. And then we hit the shield. This is... There we go. I'll just hit the horse a couple of times. Never mind. Never mind. Need to get back into it. Need to get back into it. Let's skip this one. 
we are going to be so we are going to get the axes it's a miss it's another miss let's pick that up and get an extra one let's let these two kill each other that's one two can we get the last one off Oh, my mouse is not... I'm not sure what happened there, guys. My mouse has stopped working. Not sure what happened there. That was very strange indeed. Let's hope it sorted itself out. For here. Bit of damage there. Bit of damage... There we go, so we're through to the final round of the tournament again. Let's join. Okay, so it's going to be Axe and Shield. We're over here. Seems very laggy at the moment, not sure why. Oh. oh we tried a little Shield Bash there. Which didn't work out. Oh, dearie me. Maybe. Okay. We've, we've got very, very lucky there. I was very, very sloppy. Maybe coming back into the game and uh, jumping straight into a tournament wasn't the best idea. But we did get a lovely pointy war sword. We'll see how that stacks up against the sword that we've got at the moment. But we probably will keep it. Um, just because we um, we want to try and find ourselves a companion. In fact, let's go to the tavern district and see. Oh, Slavanis the Bow Maiden. Um, let's first of all ransom these prisoners because they are. So, what has she got? Um, very much. Oh, she does have medicine a hundred. That is really good. Uh, let's see if she wants to talk and how much she would cost uh, tell me about yourself uh, Eretex I do with pre-backstory doesn't exist very <laughs> okay okay Ooh. very expensive very very expensive. Uh, can we sell some stuff? I think we've already sold everything. Uh, that point you all saw was get us there, but we don't really want to be spending that much. That's all of our gold, and we've uh, we've worked hard to get that gold. So I think we leave it for the moment. Uh, but I did like the fact that she had a hundred medicine. Uh, that was uh, that would be very nice indeed. Have we got any troops we can recruit here? No, it looks like they've been cleaned out. Guys, I'm going to go back. Um, we're going to do a couple of... Uh, we'll, we'll continue to grind up and we'll bring you back in a little bit. And guys, that was less than a little bit because just then, as uh, as I was walking up towards Black Tide to try and recruit some more people, uh, we did get ourselves another um, another tournament that's happening. So let's go in. Let's show them. So let's look at the leaderboard, actually, first of all. Um, so Gregor Clegane is up there with 15. Am I even on the leaderboard? I am. So I am on the leaderboard with five wins. Um, so winning this one could take me up to sort of 17th place. So quite a big jump up. So let's see if we can get lucky. Uh, I forgot to look then to see what the uh, what the prize was. Uh, but I'd like to get up that leaderboard. I think it's a really good way of getting renown. I think you get like three renown per one. Uh, which hopefully makes me more desirable. Uh, oh, a standard of rage. That would be very nice indeed. It looks like Germund Botley is the only other named person. And it looks like we are coming up against him. So, again, dodge these. Dodge them. 
Oh. He had four. Round is over. We qualified for the next stage of the tournament. Yeah, I got a little bit. Uh, I don't know why he threw four then. That was very strange. Uh, let's skip these. We've got an Ironborn Spearman again. Get him to miss. He misses again. A little bit of damage. Quite a bit of damage. This one should do it. There we go. These 1v1s are very, very easy, I find, when they are. Um, when they're throwing axes. It's going to be a 2v2 this time. And I have a spear. I... There we go, straight down. So it's going to be me and the Ironborn Horseman. Hopefully it is not a horse fight. I keep forgetting to bet on myself that's a really good way of making some extra gold i love the fact that the blood remains Jesus. i'm a little bit concerned about his armor level there we go and that is tournament number six in the bad guys um, really nice as well yeah we did get that three renown but we've got that standard of rage uh cool so we're gonna head off and we'll come back when we've got something exciting to show you okay guys so i brought you back because we have found another hideout so we are going to wait until nightfall it's going to be some more forest bandits uh what have we got here so we do have some nice uh, let's get rid of one of the archers and bring in the pillager, I th think. I think he'll be slightly better. So yeah, let's jump in and see if we can take down uh, this hideout. Um, it should hopefully, fingers crossed, have some nice loot for us. The last one was very, very disappointing. Um, but as I mentioned, guys... We really want to start being able to raid the north very soon. The Iron Islands are already at war. Okay, a bit of damage there. Let's bring our guys in. These guys are going to have bow and arrows, so we do need to be careful. Can we take this guy out of the back? Yes, we can. And another one. Headshot there, which is nice. Okay, let's move on through the camp or through the hideout and see what we get. We really want to get these guys upgraded. Uh, I think we've got around about 45 troops in our army at the moment. Um, so we want to try and get that number up as quickly as possible and get them to be upgraded as well because that's the big thing not just about having the troops but getting them upgraded i like this it's giving all of these guys some extra xp as well which is nice oh, stopped walking the other way we still don't have an upgraded bow yet which is causing definitely causing us some problems and the problem is we're probably not going to get one from these guys. Uh, let's have a look. We haven't taken... Oh, no, we have taken a casualty. And another one. That is not good. Oh! My shield was up then as well. This is the last guy. Okay. So we've got a little cutscene now. And we've got... A guy who suspiciously looks like the one that we took out previously, uh, but that's fine. Uh, I think we've actually got better. Uh, better weapons and armor now than we had before. There we go. That's the forest bandit down. 
And we have managed to pick up a couple of horses as well um, during our travels, which again is nice. 2.6 renown, 2.6 morale. Ooh. Interesting. So they have taken... I mean, we can take these Ironborn, right? We don't want the first men. Because... We're not bothered about them. We'll take these prisoners, because we've got plenty of spots for them. But my hope here is, guys, because there was a caravan here, okay... Uh, let's just upgrade these at the same time. Uh, Spearman. Uh, my hope is that they have some very, very good items on them. Uh, because if they've taken a caravan, then they should have. And yes, look at this. This is much better. Some barbed arrows. We get a boat grid. So the one thing we didn't think we would go. Whoa! Okay. Okay, we, we have, we can work with this. A couple more horses as well, which is always nice. Some iron ore, which is good. Um, so yeah, let's take all of this. No reason to not. And you can see that as we added more horses in, our capacity actually went up as well, which is nice. Um, so let's come out of here and get plus two uh, relationship but that's not going to matter because we're going to start raiding them soon um but we really want to start and get some mounted troops but let's just go to our inventory and see what we've got here so that's not an upgrade these arm wraps are not but this how has that gone down in price so much like but we will take it we will absolutely take it um, as a throwing axe that we got previously. Uh, we'll keep hold of these horses that we got as well. Uh, we'll sell everything else off because we're not doing smithing, guys. We, If anyone knows the motto of the Ironborn, or, or at least House Greyjoy, is we do not sow, uh, which is technically not true. They, they, they very much did, um, but that is... That is a very, very nice upgrade. I think we had an upgrade with a bow as well, didn't we? Um, yeah, so this is going to be a... It's still only a weapon tier 1, but it is balanced. So it is going to be ever so slightly better. So let's take that as well. Uh, can we take out these forest bandits here? Or are we going to be slower than them? I think we are slower than them. So I think we're going to struggle to take these guys out. So, yeah. I think we've, with all of that uh, done, let's have a look over here. I'm very cautious about attacking the north too early. And the reason for that is they have very, very large armies. Oh, we want to be very, very careful here. I mean, can we take out... They're so quick. I mean, do we should go... Do we just go and take out this hideout here? I think we probably do. We'll wait until nightfall to attack. Our health's going to go up a little bit as we wait as well. Um, I don't believe they can attack us as, we, uh, as we're waiting here. So, yeah, straight from one hideout and into another. Um, now, again, I'm not sure. I think it just gives you, like, your highest rank. Um, people, but yeah, I think we'll just go with this um, and we'll see what they actually have. Um, I don't know if they'll be mounted, if they're robber knights, but I can't imagine they would be in, in their hideouts. This is the first time I've done one of these hideouts um, with the robber knights, so yeah, let's take a look and let's see. So we'll get them nice and quietly coming over to us. I do like this setting. I like that it's different setting, not every time. Some of them are most definitely repeated. Now the issue is going to be the armor that these guys have. Nice. 
We've taken down the first two. If we could do it with no casualties and a couple of upgrades, that would be very nice. Indeed, that's another one down. And again, we'll do the jewel at the end. Maybe some nice armor. Maybe if they're robber knights, uh, a nice saddle maybe. That could be a thing that we get as well. Look at we don't get friendly fire from, uh, from melee. Because I think uh, I just run in slicing and dicing. I think I'd have probably taken a couple of my own men out there. Um, I do need to work on the athletics a little bit as well. Increase my actual movement speed. But we'll get there with it. I can say the main thing is really getting these troops upgraded. Uh, the spears are going to be really good against the cavalry. You can see there we've got quite a few heavy spears, which is nice. Okay, so there's still some left. So they're going to be at the back here. Maybe. I do like these little caves that we get to go into. That's quite nice. All these stalagmites and stalagmites. I can never remember which one goes up and which one goes down. Okay. Nope, we've still got more left. At least these guys know where they're going, right? I love how they all just line up. It's a genuine tactic that um, they use in the military, is to go in single file. And the reason why is it doesn't show your numbers. Okay, so we're going to teleport and meet this guy out there. Oh, he has got a spear and a shield. Hopefully a much better shield than what I have, and hopefully... You, you've got quite a sweat through my men there, damn you. How... I did indeed. <coughs> oh. I need to take this guy out quick because he is busting. There we go. I was going to say he's busting my shield up, which is not very good. I think once we've done this, guys, we need to go back to a major city, and we need to um, we need to get rid of some stuff. Um, what have we got here? Yeah, we did get some. We got some experience, which is nice. Hopefully, some of these guys did. Get, oh, the Ravager did, which is good. So he'll go to a Reaver, which is nice. We'll take these prisoners. Have we got room for them? Yes, we do. And what have we got? Um, yeah. I mean, okay. Like, you know, we get a better harness. Uh, we get another horse. We get a heater shield. It's cracked, but it's still... Definitely better than what we've got. Um, these common gloves apparently are better than guarded hand wraps. Uh, yep, we'll take all that. And then let's go back into our inventory. My charm has gone up as well because I'm just such a charming guy. Um, yep. P morale is looking good. Let's go into our inventory. Inventory, inventory, whichever way you say it. Let's put this better harness on. Um, common plated boots, I think, are going to be better. Don't know why we happened there. You seem to need to get it right, <coughs> right on there. Um, <coughs> common gloves. Let's put them on there. Whoa, what's happened to his hands? I've seen this before where when you have arm wraps like they're normal before but let's see if let's see so if we do this right perfectly normal let's put the um let's put the arm wraps on that we had on uh here we go let's put these arm wraps on yep so again perfectly normal but then when we put the gloves on, it sends them weird, 
what is that all about? It's like there's something obviously wrong with the uh, with the actual engine in it for it to do that. But yeah, very strange indeed. Uh, let's take this upgrade to the shield, which is nice. Balanced narrow sword. I mean, that's actually better on every stat than what we had. Um, so I think we, I think we take that as well. Um, yeah, it's better on every stat, so we'll take that. Um, we're going to head back on over, guys. We're going to see if we can recruit some more, uh, and then we'll bring you back if there's anything interesting. Okay, guys. Well, I've brought you back because as we were uh, heading back to the Iron Islands, we've come across a, another hideout, uh, hopefully with plenty of loot as well. So we're going to wait until nightfall to attack. That will boost our help, health up ever so slightly, um, which, uh, yeah, should be should be good. Um, and, yeah, woohoo! Uh, let's attack. Let's see who we're going to take with us. Uh, generally, they pick the best, so I think we're just going to stick with that. And, um, yeah, let's see what we can do, and let's see if we can take these guys out. We will once again be uh, doing the duel at the end, uh, unless something crazy happens with my health and I take some stray arrows or something like that um which can happen um again i would really like to upgrade the shield i'd like to upgrade the bow fairly happy with everything else that we've got at the moment um maybe some pauldrons i think would be quite nice if we could get get something like that but yeah we'll have to wait and see maybe maybe some more tournaments um, which we are doing really well at the moment. We're just not quite getting... I said we're not quite getting the gear. I mean, we've had, you know... We've had uh, the the horse, which was... Or the mount, which was very, very good indeed. Um, that was really nice. Oh, it just ran in there. Um, yeah, the mount was very, very good. Uh, that's really, really... That will really, really help us on the battlefield. And as I say, hopefully um, some of these uh, so some of these hideouts that we're getting will have some more good loot as well, and it'll be good XP for our more experienced um, units that we've got. So should be I think probably two or three units left now. Uh, I've not taken any damage. I wasn't on full health, but almost seventy percent. Uh, we should be absolutely fine. <clears throat> um, idea is guys I want to get a good row of spearmen up front probably 10 or 15 strong and then I want a really good party of, um, of section of archers uh, just so we can rain down some help let's see if we can get a pop shot at this guy again to the left don't want to hit our own men um, but yeah, so that is that is the plan. That is the plan. Oh, he's only got two. So they got two little dudes with him this time. He's obviously running out of forest bandits. Um, we will accept the challenge. That is a big old axe that he's got there. But he's gone down like a sack of shit. Uh, we win the battle. We took no casualties. Uh, these guys got some kills, so hopefully got some XP. Uh, we definitely we got a little bit there. Uh, we're going to get some more prisoners as well. No caravan this time, which is a shame. Um, and yeah, pretty poor loot if we are being perfectly honest. But we'll you know we'll take it. It all goes all goes into the coffers as they say, but we're going to head back over to the Iron Isles now. We're going to try and recruit some more. We'll maybe try and pick up some fights along the way. And again, we'll bring you back uh, in a little bit and show you the progress or indeed if there is anything interesting that happens. Okay, guys, well, I brought you back because we are back in the Ten Towers and after selling all of our loot, because we had some pretty expensive items in there, um, including some raw materials and things, we are at 14,000 dinars. And I'm really, really considering 
going and in fact we are gonna we're gonna go talk to Slavanis um, and yeah we, we, this is really weird but it's fine use your new company we are going to spend the eight and a half thousand on that and uh, that means now that when we go into our party we're going to have her in there as well. Let's put her up here, up to the top so we can see her. And also when we go into our inventory, uh, we can flick between these characters. And what has she got? Rusty tapered two-hander, a rusty woodland U-bow, and rusty bodkin arrows. They are tier three, so they are better than what we have got. Um, so she is going to be um, on on horseback she looks pretty cool she's got a nice helmet on her um but she is definitely um let's have a quick look here yeah look at that she is very good rubbish at, at um riding but really good at medicine so let's go to our clan and now what we can go to our uh, i think it's parties and we can start to assign or we can assign her a role so she's a better quartermaster um, let's just check again oh, we want it to be on her so she does have plus four daily experience uh, but I think what we're going to do is assign her to medicine I think so let's just go back over to the clan a second um, just because she was so so good at it um so assign her as the surgeon um healing rate increase for heroes plus 50 percent plus a hundred percent for troops so that's going to be pretty good we also do want to get somebody in who can do some of the other things as well you can only have uh each person assigned to one role so that's absolutely fine. Uh, I wonder what it would make if she was the quartermaster. It doesn't actually change it any. And then basically you are the other assignee, if that is the case. Um, so let's do that. Um, I think there was something on my character. No, there wasn't. Oh, no, there was here, one-handed. 2% um, swing with one-handed weapons, plus one daily militia recruitment. Or... Axes and maces, I feel like I'm going to be more of a sword kind of guy. So let's go with that. Um, we're catching her up on the bow. That's absolutely fine. Um, can we recruit some troops? Yes, we can. We kind of want to max these troops out now. Um, let's leave here. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to go back and have some more merry adventures. And we'll catch up with you when we get into our first battle. Okay, guys, brought you back. Uh, purely because we've been uh, scouting around, trying to find some more hideouts. Uh, taking a couple more down. No real loot of any worth. But we have come to Lannisport. And there is a tournament happening at the moment. Um, four renowned lords. Another plumed nomad helmet. But we're still going to join it. Let's see if we can take it down and make this number six, I want to say. Five or six, maybe seven. We'll take a quick look at the leaderboard uh, once we have finished. I uh, want to try and get ourselves up that leaderboard as much as we can. Um, just really to uh, try and make it better for us. And there's a lot of named people in here. We've got a couple of Lannisters. Um, Sir Benfrey the Lucky. Uh, and then we've got Slavanis the Bow Maiden, so she is our um, she is our uh, companion as well. We're gonna start to wager on ourselves. Sword and shield, which we're okay with. We just don't want to be fighting two people at once. Like we are now. Uh -huh. 
Okay, this guy is taking some damage. That's William Lannister gone. And I think we just need to go on the ultra offensive here because one hit with that and we're down. So we've made it. Let's pick up a shield. In fact, let's pick up. We are one hit away. This is our. Uh, that's Slavanis. She's our uh, helper. Oh! Absolute clutch on that there as well. So we have qualified for the next round, which is good. And he has gone down as well. He does have the range on us. But he switched for sword. There we go. Lannister Man at Arms is down. And we will go through to the next round. Luckily, our health does refresh. Um, let's wager again. Oh. Our skills with them is not very good at all so uh, Slavanis is still in there she's made it oh she didn't make it never mind never mind we do lose uh, we do lose that one but that's absolutely fine we can't we can't win them all unfortunately we're gonna carry on um, beating up some bandits uh, so we'll bring you back when there's anything exciting Okay guys, I want to bring you back because we have just had a message, Melisandre's influence. A messenger approaches your party with a look of concern on his face. My lord, he says, I have news of great import. It is said that Stannis Baratheon has turned to a red priestess of Relaw for aid in his bid for the Iron Throne. The rumours say that she wields great power and has convinced Stannis to resort to dark magic to defeat his own brother, Renly Baratheon. The messenger's word leave you with a sense of unease. You have to make a choice. Will you in attempt to intervene and put a stop to Stannis' actions? Or will you sit back and let the events unfold? The outcome of this conflict may have far-reaching far consequences for the realm. Well, to be honest with you, what Stannis is doing, killing his brother, doesn't really, uh, doesn't really affect me too much. So we're going to ignore it for the moment, but I imagine we will get a pop-up soon saying that he has been killed. So we're going to sell everything off that we've got here. Uh, we're going to let people rest up a bit, make sure we've done all of our upgrades, and then we'll come back and bring you back to something that's interesting. Okay, guys, bringing you back. We've gone back to Pike. We've got rid of all of our prisoners, so our speed now is a little bit better as well. We've recruited some more troops, but... There is a little uh, cheeky arena event happening. So let's join the tournament. Two lords. And we're going to get some Ironborn Plate Boot. If we can be the victor. So I believe there would be an upgrade. We've just got the Ironborn Boots. Uh, there might have been reinforced ones from the pirates. Um, so hopefully we can win these and get ourselves a little bit of an upgrade. Uh, look at them there. They do look pretty nice. Uh, who have we got? Yep, Slavanis is in there as well. She's got through. We do have Victarion in here as well. So let's see. And it is who we are coming up against. Oh, a little bit of damage there that we don't want to take. Uh, just in time. But for this guy shouldn't have too much health left because he has ooh. oh no once again we are unable to take it down so uh, a little bit disappointing uh, let's see oh, no we did get through we got through we've been very lucky there Slavanis has got through as well let's join this one 
Let's see what we're going to get. I'm going to try and take one of them down. Ah, double teaming him now. We should be good. There we go. So it looks like we're going to be coming up <coughs> against our uh, our companion. Oh no. So it could be... Oh no, she's gone out. So let's join this one. Um, yeah, it's not really worth it, is it, for a 30 gold? So we are going to be throwing again. Again, I like to dodge. There's one. There's two. And there's three. I like to let them come to me when it's like that. I just think it's much, much easier. Um, so yeah, Ironborn Axe Master in the last battle. <clears throat> Let's see how we can get on. Oh, only five damage. Oh, really bad there. Oh. Okay, a little bit better. And again. Oh, nice little headshot there. And again. Yes, there we go. Oh, we got very, very lucky in that one. Uh, but we will most definitely take the win. We're going to get those Ironborn Plate Boot, which is very, very nice indeed. Let's have a quick look at the leaderboard as well before we do leave, uh, just to see where we stand against everybody else. I think if I remember rightly, it was um, Gregor Clegane who was at the top. So let's go into the arena again and let's look at the leaderboard. So yeah, there is Gregor Clegane. He is currently the champion. He's getting one renown a day for that. So that's something that is very, very nice. Um, where are we? We are 13th at the moment with seven wins. Uh, again, some, some, some pretty good competition as well. So, yeah, we're going to carry on fighting, guys, uh, and we'll bring you back for more interesting things. Okay, guys, I thought I would bring you back because we have made it all the way over to King's Landing. And would you believe it, there is a tournament happening. But first of all, I want to head to the... Uh, tavern district and see who we have got in here so we've got lord peter baelish or pataya baelish lord virus and verena uh, we're going to ransom our prisoners first um just have a little chat with these guys see see what they want uh, tell me about yourself they call me little finger yeah i mean we don't want we don't really want this guy. Wow, he's only charging 587. Let's have a quick look actually and see what he's good at. Charm, steward, yeah, all the things that you would that you would expect him to be uh, to be pretty good at. Let's have a look at Varus. Again, steward, charm, leadership. And then Verena, who I'm not sure, sure who she is. Um, okay, so another fighter. She's Valerian. Um, could be interesting. She has bad honour. Um, but that could be interesting. Um, but I think what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to head into the town centre. Go to the arena. And then we are going to join the tournament. A white tabard of a male hauberk for the victor there's going to be four lords of renown i don't know if they count me in them i feel like they should do because i'm a named character but who knows uh but we'll see what we've got going on for us in this uh tournament okay so it's going to be a 2v2v2v2 2v2 2v2. um so four teams in total and our is the only other named character um plus you've got slavanis um Merin Trant, Verena, okay, so a few in there. How many is that? One, two, three, four. So maybe they do include me with that over uh, Slavanis, but let's join this and let's see what we get. Oh, it's all on horseback. Not a bad little start. 
Oh, this mount is so much worse than mine. Oh. We'll take that. Part of me is like, do I get off? Do I just get off my horse? Gold Cloak Rider is on our team. Oh, did a little bit damage there, nothing there. Can we go and help him out? So we did a little bit. Merry Tramp, the horrible, horrible man that he is. Mm, a couple of damage from the charge bonus there. Our horse is on its last legs though. Yeah, this horse is significantly worse than what we are used to. Uh, we've lost our guy. I mean, this is just an absolute cluster, isn't it? I kind of just want to have a bow and arrow here. and uh, I mean, I'm quite happy to let these guys fight it out a little bit, but I don't want to be 2v1. Okay, that's one of the... So I think we work with the... Um... Okay. Okay, okay. So we're doing okay now. And that just look. I was going to say, that just looks like Merrin Tram, doesn't it? Him just killing horses in his way. A horrible man that he is. Let's try and circle around here. Oh. I mean, do you know what, guys? We've, we've, we've done it before. And it's not let us down, has it? Let him come for us. Is he going to come for us? I don't think he is. I think I'm kind of okay. I, I just want one of them to charge at us. There we go. He does have that gold cloak armor. Take some damage. There we go. Brilliant. Let him come round. We'll just wait for him to charge us. Try and take him off his horse. And then see. I wonder if this gives more. And there we go. Yikes. So we do qualify. We were qualified anyway. Because it would have been the top two teams that go through. Let's skip this one. And let's join again. And again, it's more horses. Ooh, 79 damage gone through. That's very nice indeed. Oh, he just moved out of the way there. Oops, a daisy. Yes, Marina has gone. Now 2v1. You'd hope that we have enough. There we go. I think that's quite a nice... Um, I think that's quite a nice little strategy there, letting them um, letting them take that. So let's skip this one, and now we are one v. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah. 
Yep. Yep. That's a real shame. That's a real shame. So skip this. I was going to do it. Who wins? Is our our wins by beating the gold cloak rider. Yeah, double handed is something I also need to brush up on. Uh, I do struggle in in combat when I don't have a shield. Um, but as I mentioned, guys, I, I'm fairly new to this game. Um, but we will still take that. We will still take that. We got to go to King's Landing. Um, can we go to the keep? Who is in there? So our is in there. So who is she? She's Mirish. She's a lady. She's a noble of the Westerlands. She, I mean, she's she, she's pretty good, isn't she? She's married to Osmond Kettleblack. Okay. Interesting. Okay, well, we're going to carry on for a little bit, guys, and then come back. Okay, guys, wanted to bring you back because... King Balon Greyjoy, we have eventually met him. It looks like he was imprisoned, which is why we couldn't find him before. Um, but uh, he is back now, and we want to try and increase our relationship with him. So he is the King of Salton Rock, he is the Lord of Pike. I heard you need some help. Yes, there is something I've been on the campaign for much this year. Not being able to go around collecting rents. Okay. Let's go get him some rent. So this will help um, with. Uh, this will just help generally uh, with with uh, him there. So um, we want to just check things first of all. So uh, we want to put the archer's flag. Oh, by the way, the other flag that I got, I sold by accident and didn't realise. Uh, but that's going to be nice. So it's going to be four percent range damage, and I did do believe. That we did get a woodland longbow, which is significantly better than the one that she had, which is very nice indeed. Um, I don't think there's anything else for her rusty bodkin arrows. Yeah, they're not they're not as good. Um, so that's fine. We're not going to put her on a horse because she's very much looking after our. Um, <clears throat> our troops that are ranged um, so let's finish this let's go to trade I think we just came out of there actually um, we don't need those light harnesses so yeah we're gonna go through we're just gonna sell everything that we've got here again keeping that gold up because it is getting expensive to um, to keep these uh, these troops, uh, some linen, some velvet. Get rid of these splintered arrows. Uh, you may be wondering as well, guys, that I could have done blacksmithing. I don't know if I mentioned it in the last video, but we are not smiths. Um, we are living by the iron rules. But that's a nice seven and a half thousand dinars there, which will keep us going for quite some time. So what do we need to do? We need to go to uh, Delvin, first of all. And we need to go and collect some taxes. What are they going to give us? 146, 146. Now, there's a there's a potential strategy here because I don't think they're going to pay us up. They, they rarely do. Uh, as your men were collecting the tax, the headman shouted out to you across the fields, there's been an outbreak of flux in the village. He warned you for your own good to stay away. Um, let's have a look. Um, do you know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. Because they may like us a little bit more. And if a certain Balon is no longer with us... There's a tournament going on at Lord's Port, but we're not too concerned about that at the moment. Um, let's collect some more revenues. This is going to be for Shatterstone. And again, they'll come up with some excuse as to why they can't pay it there. There's always an excuse as to why they can't pay. Um, 139, 139. I can't remember what the actual thing was. What did we need? Uh, 1438. I mean, the nice thing is, is that we do have enough um suddenly a brawl starts between your troops and some village youth um 
Separate the two sides. Let's have a look. Eight of your men got wounded. That's not very nice. They'll come back pretty quickly, though. Okay, so we're getting a decent amount off these guys. I think that's seven or eight now, which just does pretty much cover what we had to collect. And there we go. Okay. So where do we need to go now? Uh, we've got one more that we need to find. Where's his last one? Oh, it's over here at Iron Man's Bay. You can tell um, what uh, what villagers are associated with which major cities because um, of the because uh, of the flags. But this is going to be good. This is going to get us some rep with Bill on Greyjoy. So I'll bring you back when we're talking to Bill on again and see if we can do anything else with him. Okay, guys, we've gone around. We've collected all of these. Is Laura Pike his? His wife, um, she is unaccounted for. Interesting, interesting. Maybe we, uh, maybe we try and uh, have a conversation with her in a little bit. Um, so let's talk to Balon. It's not been that long, Balon. Um, about the task you gave me, here is your share. There we go. So we gain nine skill points in that, and Balon is much, much happier with us. Can we talk to him? Let's see if we can palaver, as they say. Uh, there's something I'd like to discuss. Uh, I would like to pose an alliance. I'd like to enter your service. Um, how would you serve? Your clan tier needs to be two to become a vassal. Okay. Hiring mercenaries, that's fine. 260, that is a lot more. That is a lot more. So we're going to accept this. Uh, you can count on me as now your enemies are my enemies. And your honour is my honour. Right, so this is what I wanted to get to, guys. Because now we can go and start raiding whoever he is enemies with. And we'll have the backing of him. Whereas if we start raiding people that are not at war with him, then it becomes a little bit more difficult. But let's do this. Um, I think we will leave. And let's... Uh, what do we do here? So yes, yeah, so you see these are all green now. Uh, that means that we are uh, in league with these guys, which is quite nice. Um... Do you know what? Should we give him some prisoners? Let's make him like us even more. So let's oh. talk. Something I'd like to discuss. Proposal. I'm listening. I am going to give him... Uh, I don't have any prisoners, apparently. Uh, interesting. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. We can cancel that. It's not going to change anything. Um, so now what we can do... Did we trade everything that we had? Yeah, we've done all of that. Um, so if we look here, we've completed this quest. That is that is the first quest that we have done, guys, in this uh, in this actual playthrough. Uh, but now we have got this here, which is influence. So it's going to go down one every single day, um, but it is converted into dinars. But what we can do is if we leave here, press the end button. It's going to bring up the encyclopedia. If we go back to here, go to Kingdoms, go to Iron Islands, we can scroll down and see they are at war with the North. So, with that in mind, uh, let's just make sure we are at full capacity of... Ah, charm. We should, we should probably... Um, probably put some points into this next uh, what this means is that our learning rate is uh, slowed down significantly um, so the next time we get a focus point we will put it into charm and it'll bump it up so if you look at here for example we can learn all of these before we start to slow down but over here we need to do some work uh, let's just check our party and how it's uh, how it's looking. Yep, let's get rid of these. 
prisoners just so they don't slow us down and guys to finish the video off we're going to head over to the north and see what we can do uh, and cause a little bit of uh, a little bit of carnage so i'll bring you back when we're over there okay guys so we have come to ferv village and we are going to take hostile action um we are just going to raid the village uh they don't like it so we are just going to attack uh we'll take this and then we'll go to a raiding stage we'll show you how the raiding works um and uh, yeah this is this is sort of getting into the real uh, as we would say meat and taters of the game at least being the ironborn so this is the part that i've been looking forward to the most um so yeah we're all good here um and look at this now we are starting to look like a bit more of an army um so i think what we're just going to do guys is send everybody in and we're just going to do what the ironborn does best and uh, that is raiding um especially against the north they really don't like the north if you uh, know your game of thrones law there was uh Baelons had a couple of uprisings against the starks in the past and uh yeah he definitely doesn't like them oh well that didn't go as planned did it we need to get the hell out of dodge there we go our guys are going to catch up so that's fine Are they catching up yet? Okay, here we go. Here we go. They're all in there now. They are all in there. This has been very sloppy from me. Very sloppy indeed. I'm genuinely thinking about getting rid of my mount, but it's just so good. And we still miss at the end. And he's down. Nope, we still got some left. Okay. Let's go and take them out. Have we lost anyone yet? We haven't lost anybody yet. And there we go. So that's how we get the influence as well. So now we can take these prisoners and we'll take them back to Balon, which will be nice. And no real good stuff, uh, but that's fine. We'll put it into our uh, put it into our inventory and we'll sell it and uh, line our pockets. And now we're going to start raiding the village itself. I am a little bit concerned because there is that little garrison castle nearby. Um, Greywater Watch. But you can see here we're plundering. Only plundering 36 gold. And end raiding. Because that is a lot of Northmen. Looks like we're quicker than them. So that's going to be fine. Let's head back over to the Iron Islands where we're safe. Yeah, that's a lot of men, isn't it, guys? Uh, Bill on Gadre of the Ironborn Grant, Flint's Finger to Gilbert Farwind. Um, so we, once we become a lord, we will get the chance to vote on things as well, which is, uh, which is quite nice. Uh, Yara Greyjoy has escaped. Ooh, maybe that is a potential wife for us because we would like to get a wife. It's it's not going to be happening in in this one. Um, I think we're going to head back to Pike. Uh, if I let, let, let's go to the two towers, uh, let's go to the uh, the ten towers. Even uh, there is a there is a uh, tournament happening. It's just a black heart. No idea what that is, but I want it. 
I very, very much want it. So we're gonna we're gonna finish it off with this tournament, guys. No matter what happens, that'll be the end of the video for today. So let's see if we can get ourselves a black heart. Oh, it's gonna be an axe, a two-handed axe at that. So let's join here. We're gonna be an archer. And we're gonna miss everything, of course. Oh, hold on. Bit of damage on the horse. And apparently don't exist to him. Really need to get some of these shots off. Help my guy, some damage there, which is nice. Oh. Okay, that's good. And that's a great shot. Bail or Black Tide has gone down. Our bows have gone up as well, which is nice. We can skip this and then we can join this one here. And we are an archer again, of course we are. Bit more damage there. Try and take down their archer first. Oh, lovely little headshot there. I don't know if it was a headshot. Shoulder I hit. There we go. Let's join again and... Slavish, you were supposed to be my friend. Damage. Oh. Oh, this is not looking good. Okay, a little bit more through there. And again. Okay. Oh, there we go. A little bit of damage there, but nothing much. Okay, a bit more through there. Oh, that's better. That's a lot better. Okay. Let him charge for us. Come round. Ah, oh, he's going for him. Oh, no. That's going to be good. line this up let's wait and there we go spear beats horse almost every time so it's me versus the ironborn scout and this is a bit more like it one-handed axe and shield in swinger oh I feel like I want to look at my key bindings on this, guys, as well, because to do a shield bash, it is E, or a kick is E. Um, yeah, if you hold, if you've got block hold, it's E uh, for a shield bash, and then E just does 
uh, a kick. Uh, I feel like putting it on one of my other mouse buttons might be a little bit better, um, just so I can keep my fingers on uh, WASD. But there we go, guys. We are going to leave it there for this second episode. We visited King's Landing. Um, we've become a mercenary of Balon Greyjoy and our fight against the Starks or the North has started. We've partially raided a village, uh, which we're quite happy about. Uh, but guys, as always, if you could leave a like on the video, if you did enjoy it, let me know down in the comment section below if you've played the Game of Thrones, or should I say the Realm of Thrones mod for Battlelord 2. If you haven't, it's really, really good. Uh, head on over to Nexus Mods. You can find it there to download. It's completely free. Obviously, you need uh, Battlelord to play the game initially uh if you could leave the normal things like subscribe as well guys uh, and also i didn't mention in the last video but we do have a discord there's over a thousand people on our discord and whilst a lot of them on there are tabletop gamers there is a hell of a lot of people who also play battle lord as well so who knows we may even try and set up some multiplayer nights as well we're gonna leave it for there guys uh, and it as always it leaves me with just enough time to say stay well Keep safe and until next time, bye for now.